fluffy soil. It is fluffy. Look, it's moisture on the tarp. Yeah, that's what we want. Look at there. And we haven't had rain in how long? <sighs> Something bite you? There's a snake. Is it a snake? Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing this morning? Huh? How's everybody doing this morning? Hey, Miss Lewis, Scott, Pumpkin, Opal, Redneck, Little Bit. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Phyllis. Hey, Ozella, and your two little ones. There you go, Greg. There you go, buddy. So as most of you guys know, we had an issue with parasites with the goats. Dr. D or vet came, uh, treated Moody uh, because he had that uh, piece of barbed wire in his foot. But while he was here, he took a fecal sample of one of the goats and then, you know, looked under the microscope and then called us and said, hey, look, y'all got some issues. Uh, and it's a pretty serious situation. So he started us on a new deworming regiment. Uh, we had been worming our goats uh, every three or four months and just switching back and forth with our basin and um, safeguard, but it was obviously the wrong dewormer. Uh, we've done that forever, but we're at a new farm, so it's a new situation. And like I always explain, each farm and homestead is different. What may work in one part of the country may not work in another part of the country. And heck, we're an hour away from our old farm, and what we were doing in our old farm was working, but it's not working here. So always try to tell you guys, each farm and homestead is completely different. So he set us up on this new deworming regiment, and you know that we've been do we did that for uh, gosh for over a week and so we need to find out if it is working or are we in a the same situation we're in to start with do we need to do something else uh is it still a serious situation or a dangerous situation so we need to figure all that out so actually yesterday, Brooke and Mary Carl got a new sample and took it to Dr. D. I came out this morning and fed my goats and Mildred and I'm waiting on... that Egyptian goose to be quiet before I can talk. But I'm waiting on Fifi to poop so I can collect it and take it over to Dr. D so he can do a fecal on it and make sure all her parasites are gone. So it's kind of, I mean, I've been standing out here for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes trying to wait on her and it seems like it's not ever gonna happen. I got a, a Ziploc bag in my pocket waiting on just the right time. We have action. Like that? Yeah, that's plenty. Good job, Mary Carl. You caught it coming out of her, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. All right, Fifi. Good, good girl. So we're going to take this over to Dr. D, and he should be able to tell us if our worming regimen worked. So now we're hoping that he's inspected it and is going to let us know today if everything's working or do we need to step back and regroup and see if we gotta do something else? So hopefully we get the call from Dr. D today and we'll know something uh, pretty soon, hopefully. What are you doing, Tucker? Huh? What are you doing, Tuck Tuck? Oh my gracious. Yeah. Oh my gracious. I think she's liking that. I do too. She's yeah. purring on the ground. Oh, good. Oh. Tucker. Good morning, Felix. What's up, buddy? Oh, I don't like that. See how he was following me there? It might be a little testy this morning. Who knows? I do want to show y'all the waters. I want to give y'all an update on the waters. Everything is working out perfectly. 
on the water. I just filled this one up. As you can see, it's crystal clear. The waters are working awesome. Got to go fill this other one up too. I want to show you guys that. But the waterers are working fabulously. You can see this one. This one right here, and I did. I did cut me out a little square here, and I may cut another one out here. And I told you guys I was going to tinker around with it. This is a, uh, it's working though. It's working. I'm going to continue to watch it and tinker around with it. Now, as you guys, if you watched the entire video of the last one, you know that I had an old piece of fence in here that I had on there for weeks, if not over a month, making sure it was safe, it was going to work, and it did. And so I've come up with this more permanent solution here and so far so good the waterers are working perfectly just as i had hoped you guys you guys are not messing up my waterers nope y'all can have that one you can have all the pools see that that's the one the stairs right there that uh topaz is in there's boofy and the men in black but you can see they, they're not getting in that other one because it's got the double bowl in it. All right, so while we're waiting on Dr. D to call us, I want to show you the greenhouse. Okay, you what, you, you got something new? You haven't seen it. I want to show you how big this stuff's gotten so you hadn't seen it, so yeah, I want you to see. Yeah, that's not somewhere that I go every day. Yeah. So it seems like when I, <laughs> when I get a chance to go over there, right. everything always looks different. Well, yeah, you. I want you to see what the uh the seedlings look like did and they get a chance to raise their heads up and yeah they raise stand them. real tall they're full salute full salute yeah okay. we're, gonna, we're fixing to do a little something this week are we yeah you mean like get our hands dirty like get our hands dirty okay. are you ready oh my gracious check it out good googly goo what do you think i think we got a garden growing we got a garden growing look here we got Look at all that cauliflower and collard greens, turnip greens, more collard greens. Got some uh, rutabagas. rutabagas. Look at the broccoli. Oh my gracious. Look how gorgeous the onions look. I'm telling you, this looks like a garden growing in the greenhouse. Don't it look awesome? This is incredible. So they're ready to go in the ground, so we got to put them in the ground this week. Well, I'm ready to eat them. I'm not ready to plant them. I'm ready yeah. to eat them. We're fixing to plant them, girl. Come here and look. All right, so let's check out the tarp. The tarped area over here. Look, Jason, a little bloom on the rose. They should, yeah, they're a repeat bloomer. Yeah, look so at fall. That. Isn't that pretty? Climbing it is pinky. a pretty pink. Next year though. Ooh, next year's gonna Next year is gonna be, next year's gonna be amazing. Look at all the new growth. Yeah, I need to start, look, I, I ain't been long. Look, I trained this one look wow. at, right there. Uh-huh. And look at this new growth. Well, I mean, look at all of them. They're yeah. just shooting shoots out everywhere. new shoots that's everywhere. We want. We want, that's my flower shoots right here. So you think by spring this will be covered? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, it's probably going to slow down some in the winter, uh -huh. but it, is, it ain't going to take long. It's going to cover. Well, I sure am glad you didn't buy more than two of them. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you had, they'd be out there in the road. <laughs> if we'd have bought four. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, wouldn't that have been crazy? All right, so let's check under the tarp here and see what we're looking like. Oh, well, I'm ready to see what it looks let's like. See, there shouldn't be any weeds under here for sure. And it's oh. not, and it's moist. Look here, no rain, but look wow. at that moisture. Look and at that. I shouldn't be standing on it. Oh, it's Should okay. I? Fluffy soil. It is fluffy. Look, it's moisture on the tarp. Yeah, that's what we want. Look at there. And we haven't had rain in how long? <sighs> Something bites you? There's a snake. Is it a snake? You see him? I don't. Is it not? That's a rock. Are you sure? Yeah. God, you scared me. Well, I think I still think it's a snake. Right here? Yes. That's a rock. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Live action, folks. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. My... You sure uh, had me jumping. I thought it was a snake. You don't know, it look like yeah, a snake it head? it counts like a snake head. It don't kind of. It looks like a snake head. <laughs> Put it back down there so I can get scared. Oh, my gosh. It don't look like a snake head. It look. looks just like a snake head. It does. Especially where you were looking the way the sun was in it. I, I saw a different angle. To, oh, my gosh. Yep. 
<laughs> you never know what you're going to see oh, when you pull your top me. back. Oh, you know, it'd been a good place for one. It sure would have. But I you can see the soil, it's fluffy. I don't know if I can help you plant this garden or not. <laughs> <laughs> that got a little... That got you. Oh, goodness, my heart's still beating. Is it still beating? It mm. is. No. You see this, this, and this is why I like tarping. Now you see it, this soil's fluffy. Right. All right, look outside the tarp. This was tilled up the same time. I can't even stick my finger down in it. It's hard. Look. I mean, it's, 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 it's look at this. Oh my gracious. Yeah. yeah, it's a big difference. And so what this does is it just keeps your soil from, <laughs> you still beating? I'm still beating. <laughs> it, keeps, it keeps your soil from blowing away, helps with erosion. And it keeps the weather from packing it down. That's what's gonna happen over here. And then you see all the weeds we got over here too. Oh, and where'd the snake go? Snake's gone. I'm listening to you, baby. I promise I'm listening to you. I'm just a little distracted at the moment. <laughs> oh, tuck you back mm, in, right into you your bed, in, buddy. <laughs> Where did the rock go anyway? Oh, it's still under there. Oh, so it's gonna scare me again. I don't think it'll scare you again. I think you, I think you're good. I just knew it was a snake. <sighs> okay. You ever heard that saying, go clean your drawers out? These are fixing too. Yeah. All right, boys and girls, or boy and girl. I'm hoping, Fifi, everything's working out. Your eyelids look great though. But we can't go by that exactly. We need to, we need to get this thing tested out and know for sure, but you're looking good. You are. Woo! Man, that wind just about blew everything down, y'all. Goodness gracious. I hear you, girl. I'm gonna grab y'all some hay, but I gotta go feed Moody and him first. What's up, Nuggy boy? How's your feed looking, Nuggy? Oh, you're looking good. You're looking good, Nuggo. Okay, alarm system. Here's y'all a little snack this morning. Yeah. What's up, Moo Man? What's up, Slick? Huh? Hopefully, Moo, we get the results back and you, your buddy's in there. Hopefully, they're clear. All right, buddy, let's get your bucket here. Let's get your bucket here. So, as you guys know, because this come up, and I want to explain my little half barrel here. Now, I had this half barrel because I was using it to feed Moody with, and it just didn't work. Just right off the bat, man, that wind is blowing today. Right off the bat, the best thing so far for me to feed Moody in is these big buckets. Um, the hanging feeders didn't work, he breaks them. The big trough I got didn't work because the goats got in it while Moody was trying to eat, and then they could do number one and number two in it. So nothing's really worked except these buckets. These buckets are working perfectly for me to feed Moody in. So I left this over here and I had found out that, you know, the top of this barrel has just a sl ever slight little uh, separation right there pretty much where these two pieces come together. And if it rains real hard and it fills up, it'll just seep and drip in the feed. Uh, it doesn't like just flood the feed by all means, but the feed does get just a, a little bit wet and then the next day I just get it out. So one day it, you know, it did it. And so this was right here. And I said, heck, look, I can just do this right here. Boom, it's protected. And then, you know, a lot of people say, why didn't you uh, caulk it? Why didn't you seal it? And I could do that. I could and I probably will. But I found another use for this half barrel it serves two purposes now. This blue baby right here, not only keeps water out of here, but we've had it happen a couple of times because y'all know the deal with feed barrels. My buddy Lester made a video about it and he's absolutely right when it comes to feed barrels and how it's easy to have a barrel that's about a third of the way, a third of the way, uh, full and you need some feed just to come dump that feed on top of the older feed down there in the bottom And if you do that several times that feed at the bottom does get stale So we don't do that. We used all the feed before we put new feed in And so I found out this barrel and I've done it twice 
had a boy's goat feed because we feed them a, a buck feed that's specific for buck goats or boy goats. Again, it was about a third of the way empty. Well, usually we'll take that feed, we'll go get another barrel or we'll scoop it up and put it back in the bag and then put the new feed in and put that on top. We've done all kinds of stuff, you know. Most of the time we wait till it's almost completely empty. And that's generally what we do. But that day was one of those days where there's about a third left. So I took that feed, had it right here, dumped it in my half barrel, right? Then, once I filled this up, I took this feed, poured it right back in there, so I found a great solution for this half barrel. Keeps my water out, and if I got some older feed in the bottom of the feed barrels, I mean, it just works out perfectly. And Moody's mad at me because I'm over here talking, and he wants me to feed him. All right, brother, I'm actually gonna feed you this time, I promise. This might be one of the windiest days so far. I got some new mics, I hope they're working. We got some clip-on mics now, and I got it kind of hidden under my shirt to help with the wind noise. So I'm hoping these new mics are working out. I'll know when I start editing this video. All right, Big Daddy. Here you go, sir. All right, boys, here's to hopefully being worm free, right? No parasites. That's what we're hoping for today. Dr. D calls this no parasites, right? No parasites for the boys and the girls. Y'all can see right there. And you see that, uh, I think that's Topaz. She's drinking the water. She's drinking the water out of the trough. Here comes one of the men in black. Right there. But no attempt to get in it. We're just drinking away. Got, they want clean water too. They want some clean water too. They don't want that old nasty water either. Not getting in it because it can't. And enjoying the clean water like everybody else. So we are starting on phase two of the protege garden. And that is we're going to put uh, some rectangles of grass in the middle and surround it by sod. That's our plan anyways. We've gone back and forth with this. This has been a little bit more difficult than I had originally thought it was going to be. I thought three rectangles, this would be easy. And it's a... Uh, it's proved to be a little bit more than I anticipated. All right, we got we got it laid out. We got our plans finally after, it, it took us two days to figure out how to make this thing work. It seems so easy, y'all. It does. Get out of the wind. It seems so easy just to, uh, to put some rectangles in here, put some sod in here and some gravel. I thought, man, this is gonna be easy, but it's taking a lot of planning, a lot of planning more than i had imagined so we came in here yesterday we put this down and we thought we had to plan in our head and we didn't we didn't it didn't work out for various reasons did we even thought about making a curved pathway here and not do the squares but i really want to do the squares or rectangles thought about it last night um and i said you know what i'm going to figure this out i'm not going to let it beat me i'm going to figure this thing out and i got it figured out we originally were going to do two I started late. I gotta see stuff. I'm a visual person. I, I can imagine things in my head, but I need to see it. You know what I mean? I want. I gotta see it. So yesterday, I just I, I couldn't see it. It just wasn't working out. But now I think I got it figured out. We're doing three rectangles. We're doing gravel pathways in between. So this will be gravel, 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 and of course gravel through here and three rectangles of, it's gonna be pretty lush green grass here. And it's gonna make this little courtyard area. What are you gonna call it? There's a, there's a French, it's like a French 
formal garden and there's a term for it and I don't know what it is. Tracy, my buddy Tracy at Just Dig It Farms, who is helping me design this entire potager garden, she told me the name of it and I just can't remember it. But I got potage down, so I'll just stick with that for now. <laughs> so what we're fixing to do now, after we got it all planned out, I want to set this uh, uh, metal railing up, or border, but this stuff is four inches thick, so I don't want it four inches higher. That'll make everything just out of whack. And uh, so we're going to take the tiller. This is our plan, because this ground, we told you, is hard as concrete. So our plan is to take the tiller, the big tiller on the back of the tractor. And so Brooke is going to take her tiller and we're gonna till this up and try to break it up and then remark everything. And then I'm gonna dig out about two inches of this hard dirt. We got our load of topsoil over here and come back and put our topsoil in. And that'll give something for our grass to grow in or however deep I think it needs to go. All right, you ready to do some tilling? I am. I know you are. So we got this just like we wanted. It is slanting away from the house. I don't know if you can tell it on camera, but trust me, it's slanting away from the house. Put a level on it, checked all that out. So that's good. So we're done with this step. Uh, I'm fixing to start digging a little bit over here and uh, getting ready to put the border in on this side. You see, we got the rocks already done on this side. We did this the other day when we were trying to figure it out. We thought we had it figured out, but we didn't. But yeah, it is, uh, it is coming along. Once I get this border in, we'll set the, the, uh, the three rectangles in the middle, get those set, and then uh, start bringing some gravel in. Yeah, and this thing is ready. All right, let's get back to work. Jason. Yeah. Dr. D just called. Oh, did he? What'd he say? Guess what? What's that? You think she's got worms? Uh, well, I figure she probably got some worms. No worms. No worms. Really? She is parasite free. No worms. No worms. Isn't that oh fantastic? Oh, gracious. I would have thought she would have had some, like just like a, you know. Nope. He said there. negative. Negative for everything. Oh, wow. So that's fantastic. That is fantastic. So does, do we, do we, Check her again in three months, you reckon? No, he said, let's just hang out. Okay. And um, if we notice anything different, to yeah. of course call him. Right. But otherwise, to just hang out and he's going to be, you know, back to check on Moody. Yeah. And we'll go from, we'll kind of go from there. Okay. Isn't that great? That is great. You know what I think? What? We need to go tell him. Oh, yeah. Guess what, guys? No. Guess what, girls? Guess what, girls? <laughs> Cause that Topaz is loud, ain't she? Maybe Topaz knows already. She's coming to talk to him. We're right. fixing to have a party. Topaz Cause... may be fussing at me for fixing the water and they can't get in there. Oh, that's what it is, yeah. I bet. <laughs> we got I... reasons to celebrate. We're gonna celebrate with some cookies. Who wants some uh, animal crackers? I'm not just gonna stand out here. No, we're going inside. We're going full-fledged party mode. I wonder why they call them animal crackers in their cookies. I know there's a good explanation Well, you for know that. why. Because well, animals love them. <laughs> Fifi, you're worm-free, baby. Worm-free. You get all the cookies you want. That's right. Bo go, gets Mildred. to celebrate. Here go, Boots. Bad tipper. Oh, I need one from uh, Paris. She's over here waiting on me. Come on, Paris. Paris said, Mildred's my bodyguard. Oh. Is Mildred your bodyguard? Oh, guess what? What? Guess who it is. Roomba. Well, guys, guys. Girls. 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 Sorry. Sorry, Boots. 
Y'all don't have worms anymore. Y'all don't have any parasites anymore. No parasites. That? No parasites. That is awesome news. Is that not awesome? Isn't that awesome, Mildred? Mildred, get you another cookie, baby. Mildred's yes. kind of slow. You have she to... is. She's but a, she's so sweet. She's a slow eater. She's a slow eater. Yes, she is. She's so gentle. Everybody's had crackers, had cookies. Everybody's had cookies. Animal cookies. Animal cookies. <laughs> I think it's a wonderful day, and I think it I is think, a wonderful. I think day. we should get up on this wire spool and dance. We can, but I'm loving on Mildred. I'm loving on Mildred right now. I went and talk about me and you. I was talking about me and my coat. Oh, you and Tipper. Come on, Tipper. Come Let's on, celebrate. <laughs> It's a parasite-free day. <laughs> no parasites. See, we've done this before. I see Tipper jump right on up there like it wasn't nothing. We do this every day. Bootsy said... Come on, Bootsy, it's your turn. Bootsy, you gotta start on the low one and get up there. We do the Tipper two-step. <laughs> Come on, Fifi. <laughs> Join on. Come on, Fifi. Well, the Nupians aren't big climbers. No. Not, not like, ours, anyway. Not like uh, the Nigerian dwarf. Well, speak of the devil. Come on, Capri. Speak of the devil. And they don't tend to butt you. No. Like Bootsy and Tip do. Bootsy and Tip. Look. look. <laughs> she reared up like she was going to butt Mildred. Mildred's not worried about Mildred, you, look at Yeah, look at the concern on Mildred's face. <laughs> Mildred, Mildred is worried about Bootsy. <laughs> Mildred, two are you, Bootsy. Maybe three. What was that for, Tip? Hmm? You know, Mildred has become super sweet. She is super sweet. I but mean, she didn't just become that way. She's always been that way. Well, you know, she got that one little time there. She, when she got off the bottle. Yep. When she decided she didn't want her bottle anymore. That's right. She got kind of standoffish. She did get standoffish. But she's back. I think Bootsy's jealous of her. I think Mildred's fixing the butt, Bootsy. She's fixing to get up here. Bootsy or Mildred? Mildred. Come on, Mildred. She gonna do the Mildred two-step. Come on, Mildred, get up here. Oh my gracious. <laughs> <laughs> She's just gonna scratch her old chin there. That was kind of like yeah. that day that Paris looked like she was gonna jump on her back. Yeah, it did. Tipper, you're a little dusty. Yeah, we need some rain, don't we, Tipper? We do. Mildred's we gonna rain. flip that wire spool over. Don't flip it, Mildred. Go on, get up here, Boots. Come on, baby. Come on, let's have a party. Fifi's yawning. Look at that. <laughs> that was a big yawn. It looks funny when they yawn because there's no upper teeth. Well, the other day, I was out here sitting with them, and I can't remember who I had. Yeah. But whoever it was, I pulled their bottom lip down mm. and looked at their teeth, and boy, did they need a visit to the dentist. <laughs> I mean, it was bad. <laughs> was it you? Who's going to the dentist? Let's see. Was it wasn't you? Who's well, going to the dentist? One twenty, y'all. Mildred, was it you? Where is it? She let me look. <laughs> she sure would. She don't care. But you bring a a bottle of fly spray out here. Oh yeah. And put a pair of gloves on. She's gone. And she's gone. She's gonna get my shoe off here in a minute. Look at Paris getting some milk. Isn't that amazing? It is. That she still gets a drink. That her mama allows it. Her mama allows it. Now she'll quit she'll stop her now. Listen to that. Mm-hmm. There she goes. She's done. That's it. It's just You're a, done. It's not like she needs it. Yeah. You're done. It's just a benefit of being a baby, isn't it, Mildred? That's right. Oh Mildred. Tipper, don't eat my hair. Sweet babies. I gotta go, speaking of babies, I gotta go feed the uh, chickens. A little bit of scratch for the evening time. Before it gets too late, yeah. Before it gets too late in this evening time. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. I know it. I know it, baby. Your tongue's so rough. It is. It does not feel good, does it? Does it does not feel good. It feels like a cat times a thousand. It does. That's okay, baby girl. Mm -mm. You wanna go help me feed them babies? Mm? Hey, guess what? If y'all hadn't heard, the goats are parasite free. Ain't that awesome? Emma Jean, April. I hear you, Rhonda. There you go, Bandit. <laughs>